So here in the test for you there are a few new stories from Slingshot. Here is the new transport for Hover Glide series. Each wing is packed in a well padded suitcase. I'll get back to this once more. We again have the space skate in the test, but also the new Apollo 60. Logically, they were compared with each other and, of course, with the rest of the market, in terms of how it has now developed. And we have two new models of slingshot that are known by the old name. The Aeolian Air and the Dwarfed Craft. The Dwarfed Craft in 4.6, weighing 3,64 kg, board only. And the Alien Air in 4.8 weighing 4,06 kg. So far, the Hover Glide series always came with a wrapper for the wings, as a large piece. We have all of this now individually and separately packed here. As a mast, for each of the fuselage, rear wings, front wings, we have extra separate pockets. They come with a very nice velvet lining inside. So, really very well padded. Additionally, they are packed in a neoprene case. The neoprene case can also be used very well when the wing is built up and transported in the car, so that it doesn't get any additional scratches. Yeah, you'll now say oh, the space skate we already know it, you've already tested it once. In any case, we wanted to show you the whole new, the new packaging story, so that you can see, all the extras that this whole package includes. And of course, how the wing is made, compared to the rest of the market. Everything is constantly evolving. There are only a few new wings in this easy going handling, so for the lowest speeds and the simplest possible flight on one foil, to which space skate continues to belong. But we want to shed light again on how it keeps up now with the speed compared to the others. The fuselage is well known. Here it has two different installation options. One for a pump version, if you just use it as a sub and surf wing. Although the one there, I have to admit, really is only suitable for experts, because it is just a little too small. Or the front position, if you take the whole thing for kiting. This works great, of course. Furthermore, it is made of aluminum. Nothing has changed here, same for the stabilizer, as well known as before. Again, there was a small nice neoprene cover, you can pull it over, you can't hurt yourself at the trailing edge or something like that if you grab it. I also have to say, not as sharp here as with others, in order to hurt yourself by just touching it. Of course, if you accidentally hit it with your feet with no shoes on, it hurts. But you won't get cut as easily. So, I find it pretty pleasant. Of course, we have a little bit of fat as part of the accessories here, so that nothing gets corroded here. All screws are separately and neatly listed, a sufficient quantity. A sufficient amount of socket wrenches is provided, so that one can install it well. There is a plastic cover for the front wing, if one just installs it on the front. And of course, the trailing edge of the fuselage is also separated. The base plate is still separate. And inside here you will find a quick start guide. You can read it in advance, if you are at the very beginning. Otherwise, this is actually easy to install easy to operate it. This is all accurately matching. The mass delivered with the Hover Glide 65 is the 71 centimeters. You know, that you can combine all masts from the large installation set of the Hover Glide series of 40s, 70s, 90s, everything has the same connections, to say so. The connection points are always identical, so that you can adjust them depending on the skill level and the desired performance can exactly adjust the mast height, of course. If you have completely assembled the wing, this weighs together, the front wing, rear wing, fuselage the screws, the mast, in the 71 length are together 4.5 kilograms. Especially the combination of the space skate with the Aeolian Air, it still belongs to the fastest flying combinations on the market. The higher volume of the Alien Air effortlessly allows a riding displacement mode, so that you can really step by step approach the flight on the wing. The shape of the board of the displacement mode is so well chosen that it easily retains a good speed even when setting down, in order to then gently switch into flying. 
The EPS sandwich construction of the Alien Air overall makes a very robust impression. The board has distinct bevels, so that it is not stuck in the curves. It is equipped with a very nice non-slip EVA deck. What sets Space Skate 65 apart from the competition is the gentle rise onto the wing. There is no abrupt moment here, rather you can really slowly switch to flying with a slight shift of weight. After that, the wing is extremely stable in all axes. About the pitch there is no annoying pitching motion. Here you can play nicely with the pressure on the front leg. As mentioned, the wing rises very early, so the combination is also suitable for very small kites. With optimal sinus and well-timed loops, you can pump here at 6 knots already with 10 square meters on the wing. In combination with a Mastiff 71, the wing also remains 100% stable in the roll axis at all times. If someone is a little more demanding, when desired, can choose the 91 if he or she wants to take a bit higher speeds. For which the wing is not really 100% thought. The optimal speed range is between 15 and 30 km per hour. With its turning ability that is very tight, this speed range can even be reached without the wing getting any breakoffs from the stream. And if the speed really drops significantly below 10 km per hour, the combination with the Alien Air, which due to its volume offers enough security and always remains free, so it does not suck on the water surface, helps to learn new maneuvers very well. Let's come back to the used kite sizes. Of course, it is clear that such a lightweight, rising wing works well even with a 15 square meter tube kite or a soft kite. However, especially with the soft kite, these usually have a higher airspeed where then just the wing is not necessarily able to implement this whole thing optimally. Here it is advisable to choose a faster wing, for example. The really nice and noteworthy thing about space skate is that you do not need a lot of kite pull to fly stable and safely. If we draw again the comparison to similar wings from the easygoing branch, consider the in-house Apollo, this is of course again a little bit more agile. But instead it starts a tiny bit later. In the case of the Shaka M for example, we have a slightly lower liveliness in space skate, but instead it has a little more of the so-called error forgiving moment, which here in our test, of course, was supported by the Alien Air 4.8 again. A higher level of performance is offered by the space skate wing when used in the wave. Here, speeds of up to 40 km per hour are reached, whereby the wing then becomes very firm, so that it lures properly. That's good down the line. But the mobility on the wave is then a bit more limited. The beginner will get 100% pleasure, as hydrofoiling couldn't be made easier and secure at the same time. And then the spinning fun and the relaxed cruising at lower speed ranges. On top of that, the whole thing is a very robust combination that easily withstands light ground contact. And there is also a chic, tidy bag now.